anh em Any drums in your mind? You want any drums in your mind? Exclusive, like you know, we're oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but um, yeah, that's who we're speaking for, anyway. Yeah, cool. uh, right. I'm here um, with the Risen Dread on their tour van uh, in Birmingham tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, guys. Yeah, yeah. How, how's it been so far on tour with uh, Marduk and Vader? Incredible. Well, oh, very nice. Yeah. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> the bands, the very tiny. <laughs> <laughs> Bands themselves, like uh, Mario and Vader, you, you kind of get the feel as to why they're in the position they are. They're just incredible musicians. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. very good to watch them every night for free. Well, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? Eight, 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 nine, like eight, 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 eight in so far? Yeah, eight dates in so far, basically. And it's just like every night, it's just you realize what, like, you could watch this every night yeah. again and again. Oh. You realize why they've been around so long. Like, it's just, it's amazing to watch. But being able to do that every night with all the tiredness that comes with. Oh, you know, like, I, 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 I sit down and I almost fall asleep, but still, I mean, <laughs> I'm I'm still there for that show every night. Like, yeah, no, it's amazing. I can't playing the same thing. <laughs> so yeah, playing well, the same thing. The third one, we play, we play for nobody. Yeah. And people just lose interest. Because that's, that's what it is. But you're not. Unless it's a big band, a new fan, if you say, oh, they're going to play here after Jones, I would go, which is not yeah. the case. But it's the same thing with, with the with the Clown, for instance, when they announced, like, originally, there was a lot of mix-ups with their lineup and all that kind of stuff, yeah. and they announced, like, eight or nine or ten Irish bands to start with, 
but the problem is like like Will was saying there was comments on our post saying like oh you know why would I pay 60 quid to go to this show when I can see half these bands for free in Fibbers mm-hmm. the next week yeah and so, like, it's that kind of thing of like, yes, we would like to play. It's more. like devaluing like your play. work. If you, do. yeah, in my opinion, you devalue our work, and do we not? Yeah. yeah. And we I mean, want we would, we would love to be playing more and more gigs. It's just, yeah, you like, got to be clever about it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, true. It seems like a definitely a sensible strategy if you got a small scene to deal with. I mean, like people say metalcore is a genre, but I mean, like technically, you've got stuff from Whitechapel to Lamb of God yeah. to whatever, and it's like I don't. For me, metalcore, it's not a genre, so to speak, because it's just it. You've got every, like White it's Chapel, like metal. exactly. Like metal. White Chapel is like so fucking heavy compared to Lamb of God, and yet they yeah. both come on like claim their metalcore, like. Yeah. And so I'm just like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I completely, completely see that. You guys had a guest appearance from Andreas Kisser on the new album. Man, yeah. that's that is really cool. How how did that happen? Talk, yeah. talk to him. <laughs> talk to <laughs> when did you first cross paths with? I never, I never met him actually. So yes. the, the, the the thing is, uh, the other guest artist that we have, Renato Zanuto, that is in the last track with the orchestra arrangements. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Renato recorded the last three Sepultura albums doing the same thing. Orchestra arrangements, so like the Machine Messiah, the Mediator, and the last one, the Quadra. Quadra yeah. So he has like a three or four songs in each album that he did the same. So uh, Renato plays on a band called Kisser Clan, that is a kind of tribute band that Andres Kisser has with his son back in Brazil and Renato is a good friend of mine and then uh, um, they're together practicing on the day of my birthday and then my friend was like hey I'm gonna record a message to a friend of mine he's big simple through a fan mm-hmm. um, they asked you a long time ago if you would record a solo you said you're busy just say happy birthday it was like yeah okay my friend didn't know what's he gonna <laughs> do he was like hey Marco happy birthday oh about that solo don't worry I'm gonna give that to you it's my birthday gift I was like you sent it to me in the group being like, Lance. Hey man, I'm in Ikea, I'm fucking crying. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. in the middle of work and just yeah. reading through the messages. You know yourself, kind of, of feet up kind of a thing. And I was in like, Portuguese. I dropped the phone video. and just my hands went up and then a customer <laughs> walked into the shop and I was like, Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, something cool just happened. And like trying to explain to people who Sepultura are. Of course, are, yeah. Who Don't know them. Yeah, is a is a like, is, is a kind of explain to them as like Brazil's U two. It just <laughs> oh no, kind <laughs> of like popularity. You mean they, <laughs> popularity wise? Uh, it's just it's just it's just kind of like the feeling that you have. Uh, uh, it could be a different gas. It could be. It's just it, when you literally say, "Hey, I grew up with those guys poster on my wall." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that literally happened. So, and when he sent the solo, and he sent the solo in the last day. Of the recording, yeah. we had a backup solo in case he would record because it was a time that Sepultura was going back practicing mm-hmm. for for tour and everything was like, ah man, the guy. Is-